Dear students, in this video, we will discuss how to realize a multiplexer uh, problem on the Delson. So, here is the multiplexer circuit, 8 is to 1 multiplexer circuit using 74151. We are going to realize it. So, first we will add that IC 74151. Okay. Once we add the IC, look at the circuit, what the connections are and do the connections as it is. So, these are all the inputs. So, 4, 3, 2, 1, 15, 14, 13, 12 are the data inputs or the multiplexer inputs, 8 inputs. 5 is the output, 16 is VCC, uh, 8 is ground, 7 is a stroke ground that is enable. So, and then uh, we have the pin number 9, 10, and 11 are the ABC. These are the select inputs. So, we just connect all these things. So, pin number, this is IC is of 16 pin IC. Pin number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So, 16 you connect it to VCC. 7 and 8 to be ground. So, connect 7 to ground. 8 also to ground. So, then what are all the inputs in this? I'll just connect output now. 5 is my output. You connect it to 5. This is my output. So, then next, all these uh, basic things are done. You provide these inputs as well. So, A should go to 9. So, this is 9. Then, B should go to 10. These are the most significant bit, A, B, C. So, then 11, it's been done. So, now, these things are done now. So, just need to do these inputs. So, wherever it is 1, when we are simplifying, wherever it was 1, so we connect all those to VCC and then PDD to ground. So, these things, you can also refer this. Um, implementation table or the reduced truth table anything one should go to VCC all zero should go to ground so as per the circuit you look into the pin numbers as well because it is very important so VCC should go to pin number four and pin number two so two you should go to VCC then it's not been done so, 2 you connect it to VCC, 4 you connect it to VCC. So, next, once you do this, so ground should go to pin number 3, pin number 1 and 13 and 12. 3, 1, 13, 12. So, 1. 3, 13, so this is 16 pin IC, right? So, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, 13 and also 12. So, if you just look into this, so 13 and 12, 1 and 3. So, direct D input should go to pin number 14. Where is our D? A, B, C, D are the four inputs. So, A, B, C is done. So, D directly should go to pin number 14. So, it is 14. Then, D bar we need it. D bar should go to pin number 15. How we can get this D bar? We need an inverter. The output of the inverter should be connected to pin number 15. So, add an IC. 7404 it's for inverter so the basic connections of this inverter 7 to ground 14 to VCC so now input is from D you connect it then output connected to 15 we have done the circuit connections of the multiplexers now we can able to run this so, before we run, let us open the truth table of this. So, it will be easy. 
and also let me make this smaller because it is very difficult to monitor the truth table and also the circuit connection so all three zeros it is one so all three zeros it should be one first let us make a strainer kit on yes all three zeros it is one so zero zero one zero zero one it is zero yes it is zero zero one zero zero one zero it is one yes then zero one one it is zero zero one one it is zero correct one double zero one double zero it is d bar our d is zero so we are getting one if i make our d one it should be zero then one zero one one zero one it is d if our d is one it will be one if our d is zero then it will be zero one one zero one one zero it is zero irrespective of the d it should change for all the rest only whenever this is one double zero it depends on d so revert of d one zero one it is d otherwise it is uh, with, with not depends on a d at all so all three zeros all three zeros it is zero this is what this is how the multiplexer work you can able to realize it for any given circuit so only the changes here is whichever the input should flow on to what pin numbers so pin numbers you need not to buy ahead you can get the uh, pin diagram you can directly refer but the thing is you need to design the circuit so with this i'll wind up this video thank you